Hi, everyone. Sorry, I'm a little late. Let me get over here to make sure that I see your questions. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hello. Where am I? Am I here? Am I here? Yes, there I am. Okay, cool. Hi, hi, hi. Come on down. Good to see everyone. Yay. Okay, wow, wow. How amazing um, was the challenge yesterday. I am still getting through all of your dreams that you posted yesterday, you guys. Um, it's a lot. So I want to say a few things about that. It was important for you to say your dream. Why did I ask for your dream and not for your goal? Because how many times have you been told you can't get your dream? Some of you were so scared sharing your dream. I knew I had asked the right thing. I made a note on my scripts from yesterday because I was watching some of them when I was shooting. And thank you. Uh, Sarah did a great job yesterday, by the way. Um, but I made some notes about different people and I, and I was still watching this morning and I still have more to go and I'm going to still watch them. So if you didn't post your dream, please post your dream. Um, and you know, I will get through all of them. I promise. But, um, wow. Uh, like Grace, Kevin and Stacy all had these incredible voiceover dreams, which I just loved. And they were great. I, I told Violetta, who's a client this morning on the mastermind, how much she has uh, matured and how much she stepped into her dream. Uh, Arvid, you're awesome. I loved you. Your dream was great. Uh, Kareen and Chloe and Claudia and Taylor. Uh, it was so specific what you were talking about. Kelly. Oh, my God. It was so good. And Peggy. Oh, gosh. I just loved watching your dream. And um, a, a lot of you guys were talking about Six Feet Under and a lot of you guys were talking about Steven Spielberg, which was crazy because one of our clients on our mastermind this morning, that's why I'm a little late. Uh, we have our mastermind twice a month and I just came from our mastermind with all of our clients. And one of our clients just did a, um, uh, a film that's going to get in front of Steven Spielberg. And a lot of you guys... Um, mentioned Steven Spielberg yesterday. So I thought that was awesome. And um, Jim and yours was great. I loved what you said. And I don't know, Leslie and oh my gosh, I, I mean, I could just keep going. There was so many great uh, posts yesterday and I, I want to keep watching them uh, today, like I said. So, um, you know, I am watching everything and I'm looking and I want you to know that I hear you, I hear your dream, and I want your dream to come true. So one of the things that we talked about this morning in our mastermind with our clients is, I talked about like how a lot of the clients are on here and how I really heard their dream and how they were really clear about their dream. So we have our dream, and then we have what we're working on right now, like the goal, like the, we call it the game. So uh, I will get cast in a speaking role in a TV show that I get paid for, right? And then we talk about the specific goals that go under that, that you're working on on a daily basis. So it's like the breaking down from the dream to actually actionable steps. And I, I want you to know that we are going to get to actionable steps during this two-week period. Um but I still am looking for um, some other things that I want to, um, to talk to you about. So, so today, today the challenge. What is the day today the challenge? Here is what I would like you to do. I would like you to make a post on Facebook. Or you can go out and ask 10 individual friends. You can either put a post on Facebook. You're looking for 10 people to give you three adjectives that best describe you. Now, a lot of you guys are going to say, well, are they supposed to be me as an actor or me as a person? 
I just want you to ask them for three adjectives that best describe you. Don't ask them to make it specific to your acting. Now, some people are going to make it specific to your acting if they know you're an actor and they've worked with you as an actor. And some people are just going to go, this is who you are. I want you just to ask 10 people to give you three adjectives that best describe you. Okay? 10 people, three adjectives that best describe you. Then I want you to take all of those adjectives and I want you to go make a word cloud. Now, how do you do that? So if you, if you search word cloud on Google, there's like 500 things that are going to come up about where you can make a word cloud for free. In the email that's going out in a half an hour, we give you one of those places. It's called monkeylearn.com, monkeylearn.com, word-cloud. It, it, on monkeylearn.com, you can create a word cloud. Um, but there's a million places that you can create a word cloud. They make you a word cloud with all your adjectives in a creative little space, like a tree or a, a cloud or a diamond shape or a flower shape. You can choose whatever shape you want. Make the word cloud with all the adjectives that people use to describe you. And then I want you to upload it into the Facebook group so we can see it. Okay. So I'm going to go, when I get off here, I'm going to create a word cloud for myself and I'll upload it so you can see what it looks like. And so you can go, oh, that's really cool. I see what you mean, right? So you're going to take all 30 adjectives and a lot of them might be the same. You might get, several people might tell you, you know, funny or, you know, something like, so that's great. There, when you create a word cloud, if, if there's one that you've heard, like from five people told you the same adjective, you make that like the bigger word. You have control of how you create the word cloud. So again, if you're watching this, you're going to ask 10 people. You can make one post on Facebook and, and you're going to ask them to give you three adjectives that best describe you. Then you're going to take all those adjectives. You're going to create a word cloud and you're going to upload it to the Facebook group. So we can see your pretty designs, okay? Um, and we give you a, a site where you can do that in the email that's going out after this broadcast, okay? All right, so let me go and see. Um, yes, Christopher Pan, I'm gonna show you an example. Uh, hi, Mars, good to see you, right? Awesome, oh my God, look how many comments. Okay, great, I see all these comments. Um, Come on, give me all the comments. I see that there's 20. Oh, this is what you were talking about, wasn't it, Sarah? That you couldn't see all the comments at one time. Um, so yeah, so, and you guys are still posting your videos, which I love. Uh, so, um, um, and some of you guys had a hard time posting the video. We're gonna be asking you for more videos to come. So I hope you guys can figure out how to do that. Uh, we will definitely be asking you more. Um, uh, let me just go here and see maybe if I can, uh, if I open it up bigger, I can actually see your comments. Um, oh, there's 52 of you on here. Good to see you all. Oh, you missed yesterday. Okay, Doug, don't forget. So Doug said he missed yesterday. Um, so someone said, if someone is doing this challenge via email instead of Facebook, where do they post? Um, if you are doing this challenge versus, and, and you are not on Facebook, you can post, you can send it to me. Uh, so it's Valerie, V-A-L-O-R-I-E at actorsfasttrack.com. Now, a lot that's where your emails are coming from. So if you're signed up for this challenge, you should have gotten an email yesterday with the, the challenge and it came from my email address. So if you didn't get that email, look in your spam folder, it's probably there, okay? Because everyone that signed up for the, for the challenge got the email yesterday that told them what the assignment was. And if you didn't, 
uh, get a chance to post your dream video, you can still do that. Here's the other thing. On Saturday, this coming Saturday, the 5th, I am going to do a ketchup. It's not ketchup like you put on your hot dog and your French fries. I'm going to do a ketchup for all of you guys that maybe life gets away from you this week and you're not able to do the challenge stuff. I'm going to be on a meeting link, which we will get to you from 1 to 2.30 Eastern time on Saturday, answering all your questions about the challenge and what you experienced this week. I will be going over the five things that I gave you to do this week. Uh, and we will be catching up on Saturday. So it's a chance for you to come and, and have me live here. We were, we're not going to do a webinar. I keep calling it a webinar. It's not going to be a webinar. It's going to be a meeting link. So I'll be able to see you all and you'll be able to ask me questions. Okay. And so we're going to be doing that this coming Saturday, March 5th from one o'clock to 2.30 p.m. Eastern time to answer all of your questions and catch you up and talk about whatever tripped you up this week and what made you cry and what made you feel grateful to be an actor, what gave you hope, what pissed you off, whatever it is. Uh, you know, so put that on your calendar. And then also just a reminder for you guys that haven't purchased a ticket yet, the following Saturday, March 12th at one o'clock PM Eastern time to 6 PM. It's a five hour event. We are doing our spring event, Accelerate Live. At that event, we are going to be giving away cash prizes for the people that participated in the challenge the most. We are going to be having a phenomenal industry panel, not casting directors and agents. There are going to be a, an agent or two there, but it's, it's going to be a really heavy conversation about the industry and what's happening. We're also having a producer and we're having um, people that do different things. So, um, so make sure you attend that event and you get your ticket. It's only a $27 ticket. And it would be crazy if you did this whole thing and you didn't come to that because it's sort of the icing on the cake and who can have cake without icing? Not me. Okay. So uh, make sure you get your Accelerate Live ticket. Um, and uh, again, that information will be in the email. So hopefully that will help you. Uh, let me see what other questions we have. Um, should we say first, what is it? Wait, I just lost lost you when you said that, um, Josh, hold on. Josh, you asked a question and then I was like, where did it go? Um, I don't know where it went. Um, um, I don't know how to see all the comments. Does anyone know, know how to do that? It, cause the comments are going really fast. Um, Oh, that's fine. If you can only attend Accelerate Live from one to four, that's fine. That's great. This Saturday, it's at 1 p.m. Eastern time. 1 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, and it's at 1 p.m. the following Saturday as well. Okay, for you guys that are just hopping on here today, again, uh, the assignment for today is... If you did not post your dream video in this group, do that first. Post your dream video first. The second assignment is to go to 10 of your friends and ask them to give you three adjectives that best describe you. You can do it by a, 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 a post, a Facebook post, or you can reach out to 10 different friends and ask them to give you three adjectives that best describe you. And then you are going to create a word cloud and you are going to upload your word cloud to the I Love Actors Facebook page. If you Google word cloud, there's 500 places where you can make a free word cloud. It's really easy. Don't freak out. Okay. And a lot of you are going to find out that you have the same adjective told to you over and over again. So that's fine. Uh, you can create the word cloud any way you want to. You can make one word the biggest word. So maybe if that's a word that you got a lot, that's the biggest word on what you created. Um, um, 
Oh, Violetta said, it makes me a bit anxious to ask because I haven't talked to some of my people on my Facebook friends in years. Um, that's fine. That's fine, Violetta. Then don't go ask your Facebook friends. Go ask 10 of your friends that you have emails for. Ask them, ask your family. You know, ask people that it doesn't make you anxious. Uh, however, you know, I think sometimes it's good to ask someone that that maybe you think doesn't know you well or has a memory of you that's a long time ago. Um, you'll be surprised. You'll be really surprised when you make the post, you guys. You know, this challenge is about challenging you and you're going to feel scared I mean, this is just the beginning. A lot of you were terrified about posting that video yesterday, which bravo for all of you that did that. Bravo for all of you that did that. Awesome, awesome, awesome job. A lot of you did that yesterday and took a big, big step in doing that. And so great, great job, right? Um, but um, um, sorry, my husband just came to get my dog. <laughs> She was up here napping. Um, but, uh, you know, um, it's going to get scarier. That's all I'm going to say. It's going to get scarier. I mean, it's not called a challenge because I'm asking you to realign your resume that no one ever asked for. It's not, you know, I'm not asking you to do simple stuff. I'm asking you to do big stuff, stuff that people aren't asking you to do. I swear, I swear to you, if you do everything I tell you to do in this challenge for the next two weeks, you will totally be in a new place come March 12th. Come the last day, March 11th, you'll be in a different place than you were when you started it. And that's my objective for you is to get you into a different place than you're in right now. Because if you're stuck doing the same thing, getting the same results over and over again, I need to get you unstuck, right? And so the first thing is asking you to do shit that you haven't done before. That's scary for you. Sorry if I cuss, right? And so that's why I'm asking you, right? So go out and do the post on Facebook, even if it's scary, Violetta, even if it's scary, because Violetta, you have not let anything scary stop you. Look how far you've come. Awesome. Um, um, yeah. And you can ask the AFT client group. Emma, I love you. Okay, great. Awesome. Okay. I still can't see. So Sarah, if there's a question and she's on here so she can answer, can you tell me a question that I'm not seeing um, that you feel like I need to answer? Cause I'm watching this, but I see what you mean. You can't see all the comments. Hey, maybe I can on my phone. Hey, I know it's too crazy, right? Um, oh, there's Sarah posting her video, which is awesome. Sarah Hewitt. Um, does that only apply if you live in the USA? What does only apply if you live in the USA? No, you guys, I have clients all over the world. We have clients at Actors Fast Track all over the world. The business is the business no matter where you go. Business doesn't change. Business is the exchange of product, ideas, or services for money. That's all business is. So, you know, do people's attitudes and personalities differ from where they live? Yes. Absolutely. Right. Like I have a ton of clients in UK and you guys are really fucking polite. Right. And so sometimes you have to get over that to get to what you want. But I also have clients in the UK that are booking everything right now that are crazy auditioning that are booking very big things right now. I um, so it doesn't matter where you live. I have worked with people in Colombia, Venezuela, Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, Scotland, the UK, uh, Mexico, uh, Canada, uh, uh, Seoul, Korea, uh, Singapore. Um, literally, I've had clients like all over the world, y'all. And so it Africa, so it doesn't matter where on this 
big globe you live. Business is business and going after your dreams is going after your dreams. And the challenge is for you to get out of your own way and get to what you want in your life. That's all it is. That's all I'm asking you to do. So the, it's really simple. I want you to go out to 10 people. I want you to give them, ask them for three adjectives that best describe you. And I want that you to create a word cloud and I want you to upload it into the Facebook group. It's not hard. You can do it. Trust me, all of us have had to do a shit ton in the last uh, uh, two years, have we not? We've had to learn how to shoot, how to edit, how to light, how to uh, set decorate, how to costume. Some of us have had to do everything the last um, few years. And so I know some of you are technically challenged. I get that. But if I can learn it, you can learn it too. Okay, great. Awesome. Um, um, okay. Uh, there's a, I just spoke to a huge casting office in Mexico. Oh my God. That's awesome. I love that. That's great. Oh, Mars. So glad that you're here. Awesome. I love seeing all of you guys on here. What greatness. I love it. I love it. Sarah, let me know if there's any questions that I need to uh, answer. I know you're on here and I'm sure you will let me know. Okay, so don't forget that Saturday we're doing a catch up and then the following Saturday is the big event, Accelerate Live. Um, we will talk more about it on Sat next. This coming Saturday is the catch up. That's just an hour, an hour and a half of me answering your questions and um, talking to you um, about what we've accomplished this week. So again, if you did not post your pitch video, your pitch video, your dream video, please post your dream video. Um, and um, so Sarah said, should we say first 10 answers when we do the Facebook post or can we leave it for as many people that want to answer? You can leave it for as many people as want to answer. If you have 20 people that give you three adjectives, take all those adjectives and create a word cloud that's out of all of those adjectives. I'm just asking you to start with 10 people. If you get 20 people to answer your Facebook post, fabulous, even better, right? Um, so there are no rules beyond that, right? I just want you to at least hit up 10 people for three adjectives. Great, thank you for saying that. Um, um, Great, awesome, beautiful. Thank you, Sarah, for posting that. Okay, all right, you guys. I am so enjoying watching your dream videos. Never stop putting your dreams out there. Never stop asking for what you want. It is all possible. Your dream is possible. You guys, I, I mean, just alone in the last two months. I've, I just had a client book this. I, we had a, a, a client in the first Sony showcase diversity showcase. We just had another client that got in the Sony diversity showcase. How exciting we've had people book gigantic movies, get big meetings, uh, book gigantic TV shows just in the first two months of this year. So I know that getting your dream is possible. I know that it's possible, but first you have to say what you want, right? And then we will talk down the road about how we quantify that and make that into a reality, make that into actionable steps. I mean, I'm really good at getting, giving my clients actionable steps to take, um, but the first thing that I always ask any actor is what's the dream? Because if I don't know the dream, then I can't help you get it, you know? And also you've all, you've all been told not to talk about your dream and, and your dreams really moved me. I want you to know that, you know, I was working as an actress yesterday. I'm working twice this week as an actor and I, um, was working as an actress and, you know, I, living my dream. I got picked up by a limo, limo yesterday and dropped off by a limo last night and living my dream, right? Living the dream that I was, that I asked for. And then I got help achieving, 
right? And now that's what I help other actors do. And so I, I know it's possible because I've done that. I've lived my dream. And so I just want you to know that it's possible for all of you. Okay. And so if you haven't posted it or you've been too scared to post it, please don't, no one is here to judge you. No one is going to knock down your dream. And if they do knock down your dream, I will knock them down. It's not, that's not okay. This group is all about supporting your dream and holding it up. I noticed, you know, I noticed with a lot of you guys that it was, it was hard for you guys to get really clear about that dream because I think you're still blocked behind, well, I'm afraid to say it out loud because I might not get it or I might sound stupid or who am I or I'm too old or all of those things that come up for you when I ask you that. So if you feel like you want to give it another shot, you can give it another shot. It's open for you to do whatever you need to do. Listen, have a great day. In a half an hour, we're going to send out the email. I will create a word cloud right now and I will, I will upload it to the Facebook group. I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you same time, same place tomorrow for your next assignment. Um, and uh, have a great day. Love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.